Yo, you guys, I just came back from my two mile run. I run every morning before I work out. And today is glute and hamstrings. So I will show you guys my booty workout today. It's gonna be all barbells. Let's get this booty day going.
that's a uh, it's about a 45 minute booty workout. Your workouts don't have to be long, they just have to be efficient. That might be limiting your sets and making sure you have higher reps or weights. Pick one. Um, depending on your weight, making sure that you are tiring out your muscles to grow that booty. I think what really changed was doing deadlifts. Um, and I started that like end of fall, so it's only been like three or four months. That has really grew my booty for sure. And I highly recommend it. Don't be afraid. Whew. That was a good workout. I always schedule booty day, leg day, always on Friday for the past two years. That has been the most consistent day for me. I only work out five times a week, Monday to Friday, always have, and um, I never let that one go. I want to end the week pretty strong, so it's always been a booty day. It makes it easier to go to the gym back then. I mean, I still do it now, but to build my consistency, I make sure that the days that I don't want to work out are the days that I need to work out. Can't miss a leg day. Like, I know that my form's not correct for a lot of these because, like, my back isn't that strong and my arms are not that strong. So it makes it kind of hard to do use the barbell sometimes, especially when I do, like, remaining deadlifts and, like, single leg deadlifts using the barbell but you know what you just got to keep doing it keep working on it even if you think your form is wrong still do them still do them because if you don't practice how are you going to get there you're just going to magically become like perfect no one really magically becomes perfect so my hip used to be like 45 inches when i was overweight and then I actually got it down to like 35 and a half at my leanest and now uh, I gained 10 pounds or so. My glutes are about 38. But when I used to be this weight last year, my glute used to be like 37 inches and it's 38 now. So it's growing. I want to say even though I did gain like some weight, like probably like, like 10 pounds from my leanest um but i was never that i was only lean for like a day and then i just started to gain it all back because of my unhealthy relationship with food i gotta say like when you gain the weight back it doesn't go back to where it used to be like i don't remember looking like this at this weight i looked definitely more fluffy this time around i can tell that i gained muscle like even if you do gain weight it's probably muscle Especially if you've been working really really hard. Don't think that you've gained weight because you gain fat. You probably gained some muscle as well I wanted to show you guys my grocery veggie haul I got a lot of things and there's stuff that I still have so I want to share you with you what I got and what I'm gonna consume for this week I got Brussels sprouts. I have a cucumber. I have some small potatoes red potatoes corn um, I have these pickled peppers put on my salad salad and then i have arugula these are my favorite type of mushrooms it's the um enoki mushrooms these are really good in soup i have sweet potato massive one i have baby spinach i'm gonna go through those later um i have bok choy beets i have the purple cauliflower i wanted to kind of see more than just white so i have this one more black bok choy and then i also got radish and then i have um lettuce back here then i have here um sushuto peppers these are really good when you like fry them um eggplant this is chinese eggplant it's long and then i have asparagus and then squash some other things that I got. So I got seaweed. It's 5 calories. This whole bag has 45 calories for this whole entire bag. And then I got these. These are pickled garlic stem. These are so good. It's pickled in soy sauce. It's 35 calories for 30 grams. And then I have these. These are lotus roots. These are also pickled. It's 25 calories for 30 grams. I also got tomatoes. 
cherry tomatoes. That's the stuff that I'll be consuming this week and I'll show you guys more recipes of what I do with them. I'm gonna be making like soups and stir fries and like just a bunch of different ways to like consume them, air fry them, you know, whatever is the easiest. It was a lot, it's a lot of things to consume. So I'm gonna cook the beets. So what I do is I actually microwave them. These are pretty small, so it probably won't even take that long. Okay, so I just put some water in a microwavable bowl. I poke some holes in them, kind of cut the skin in half all the way through, so that's easy to peel later. I actually just cut too much of the roots. You're supposed to keep a good amount of the, the greens on there, but oh well. Oops, don't forget to cover it. So I actually ended up just microwaving it for like maybe 10 minutes. Just did intervals of like two minutes and check on them. They are perfect. They are well done. I took off the skin. Cutting them, like just cutting the skin on the outside really helps just peel it off pretty easily. I would have just done the other way. I recommend that tip. I do that for my potatoes as well. Okay. So tonight I am making some like stir fry. I'm doing green beans and then shishito peppers. If you haven't tried shishito peppers, you're really missing out. Some of them can be spicy. They're like shriveled up peppers. They're really good. And I'll show you what I do with them. And you just cook it, put it on the side and we're gonna throw it back in later. You got some oil. I only put like 10 grams. Trust me, you can add oil, okay? This entire recipe is gonna end up less than 400 calories, including this olive oil. I just wanted to like blister it a little bit more. You can, I put 10 grams of oil, but you can get away with probably five. The entire meal, including my rice um, and the meat, and the oil comes out below 400 calories, like 380, I think. So, and that's with 120 grams of rice as well. Not cauliflower rice, just regular white rice. And you're just gonna pour in soy sauce. You don't need that much. That was like five grams. Back your meat. So you know that the peppers are ready when they kind of like don't really hold their form anymore. Yeah, you could probably use coconut aminos. I know it actually tastes really good too. Didn't even think about that until now. I use 10 grams of oil. I could have put more vegetables in here. I only put 50 grams of the peppers and it came out to be 7 calories. I only put 50 grams of green beans about 16 calories and then 120 grams of rice so we're looking at here 387 oh and pork i use pork tenderloins um it has the least amount of fat um in pork and it's the cheapest at costco so this all of this including the vegetables including the sauce including the oil it came out to be 28 grams of protein and 387 calories. If you're like, wow, that's really little, you can obviously add more vegetables. So I got these salted seaweed stem. And what you do is you just uh, dunk it in water for like 30 minutes in cold water. So you rinse off the salt. My mom's telling me that fried version is the best. I was gonna do it, but my mom did it anyways. She dunked it in water. But if you do it too long, it loses the flavor. Look at all that salt inside. Wanna make it look like this. <laughs> I've been recording for this week's Gymshark 66 update and I included a glutes and hamstring workout. So the video is quite long. So it's gonna be two parts to this week's vlog. So I'm just gonna end it here and I'll give you a full update of my next video.
don't forget to subscribe and wait for that video as well. I'll see you in the next video.